Stingray, we are in Chamonix, man. It's been so nice to be here with you. And uh, I just wanted to ask you a few questions before the race. I mean, first of all, I want to say personally, I'm so excited for you this year. Um, you know, uh, been watching what you've been doing, been have seen you many times together over this last couple months. Um, I mean, you're almost you're in Europe now, almost two months. Uh, how's the preparation been feeling for you? Um, for now, I, I feel uh, getting better compared to uh, last year. I'm very confident for the finish strong. Great, man. And you have been training. I know, of course, in, in Spain, we raced uh, the first week. And then after that, where did you do most of your training before coming to Chamonix? Mm, after the, um, the race in, the, um, in the, the Spain, the Valderan, and then with, I, I transferred there my friend in the um, Grenoble. And then I, tra I trained there in the Grenoble very close in the Alps. The Alps around your noble area, and you're able to get in the high mountains uh, quite a bit there. I go there, they have, they have uh, so many trails there too. Great, and then you've been here now for how long in, in the Chamonix area? Just almost um, two weeks now. Okay. Yeah, two weeks. And with, you've been training, I know on the race course we had some time together, and also you did some big training, your final training uh, you did. Las Contamine to to Comayor, so 50k there, and then Champilac to finish line. So in, in Champilac to finish in in a few sections, right? Yeah. Great. So, how are you feeling about the race course then? Now, I know the race course, and I'm not uh, I'm not afraid to. <laughs> great, man. Great. Um, and of course, I mean. You were second place in the other uh, uh, UTMB major event in Thailand in December. That was your first 100 mile race. Uh, you finished so strong. I, I was there. I mean, it was incredible. You were you chased the number five guy in the world. I know for the whole race, finished like 20 minutes back. I mean, uh, how do you feel now after that successful race? Yeah, I feel. Um... I'm so happy, and then I feel confident now. To I need to I need uh, I feel confident for the for the finish the UTMB the um, nice. the final. And I know in Hong Kong we had a, a little bit of a scary episode, or you did, uh, and me looking at the photos. I wasn't there, but you had a big um, uh, accident in the speed race. And the huge cut was it this leg here? Yeah, this is my left side. Like oh wow! It's two, yeah, two cut. Yeah. Because I slipped in the the way, the first uh, three kilometers. And I mean that's healed quite well. Are are you, despite the scars, are are you feeling that much when you're training at all, or is it? No, I, I feel uh, sometimes very uh, strange there. I I don't know with maybe the fat inside the, with the tissue. You know, okay. There. But no pain. No pain. Just some sensation yeah. inside, something yeah. moving, some tissue, yeah, well, probably scar tissue or yeah, something, maybe. I guess. <laughs> that's, that's good news, man. And then, gosh, so what kind of kilometers have you been putting in, like during this last training block? What's been the, the maximum you've had? Um, I did uh, two weeks uh, last month. I did two weeks, uh, 200 kilometers uh, distance. Wow, and, and what kind of elevation, 200 kilometers a uh, week? Uh, 14, um, every 200 kilometers is 14,000 uh, elevation. Wow, 14 during the two weeks. So also big elevation and, and huge, some of the biggest mileage you put in. Um, yeah, super exciting, man. So you're gonna be on the start line, probably the most competitive, competitive race in history here. Uh, are you excited to battle? <laughs> <laughs> and your strategy? How's your strategy? What What are you thinking going into it? Uh, my strategy is um, I don't uh, stay very far the lead pack because uh, if very far I cannot uh, cut up and then uh, maybe I, and then I save the my legs uh, the last three mountain too. 
Okay, so keeping the lead pack not too, not too far ahead, so you have a chance to, to stay connected and make a move if you feel good later. I like the strategy. Uh, I think you're ready. Um, what about the rain? Looks like a little bit colder rain. Are you, you feel now in Europe, you've been here two months, you feel comfortable in the... Yeah, cold and uh, rainy is okay for me. Yeah. Good, man. Anything last you want to say to your, your fans uh, back in the Philippines? Um, and of course, throughout Asia, but in, in particular, you, want, you can say here. Yeah, my, um, I want to say first my, um, my sponsor, the North Face Adventure team, to, to bring me. Um, thank you, thank you very much. And then the, in the Philippines, thank you very much for the support me. And then, um, and I will try my best to finish strong this year. Great. Good luck, man. Yeah, and I'm going to be actually supporting you most of this race, so I'm excited also, man. Going to be... Thanks. Thailand was was we work well together so yeah um I can't wait